Hey guys, it's Amber from NotableInk.com. I'm back for the cut card stock with some clean and simple spring cards. We're gonna use this textured canvas seafoam green card stock. We're gonna use an older stamp set. This one is from Dina Wakely and it's called Circle Patterns. You'll, we'll use Alta New Mix and Match Mariposa die set and the circled sentiments. And then I'm also gonna use a sweet die from the Alta New Script Words 3 die set. So I've gone ahead and cut a few butterflies out of that canvas textured cardstock, and that's a discount cardstock from cutcardstock.com. It's such a pretty color, and that's actually what inspired my color palette for today. So I thought what I would do is do a little bit of spotlight stamping with this one stamp from the circled pattern sets. I'm gonna use the Simon Says Stamp Stone Ink. One thing about red rubber stamps is they stamp so cleanly, whether that's you, you're using a misty or you're using a stamp block. And in fact, for the all over background pattern that I'll do for the next card, I am gonna use a stamp block for that. I just find it's easier to do an all over background that way. So I have the gray and then I'm gonna use Sunray ink, which is from the Golden Sunset ink family from all to new. We'll put that in the middle and I'm gonna do kind of like a soft arc to these three patterns and we'll use that as a backdrop for each one of these butterflies. And then I'll use Pale Mauve, which is from the Sugar Plums color family. So just stamping each one of these once and then we'll go ahead and get our butterflies and our sentiment. We'll actually do our sentiment next. For our sentiment, we are gonna use the circle sentiments and I kind of played around. This is what I normally do I play around with the packaging to see which sentiment I want. Here I'm using Mountain Mist from Altenew, and that's from the Seashore color family. And I thought this color went perfectly with the cardstock. So it's a light sentiment, it's not very bold, very readable in person, a little bit harder to pick up on camera. So I'm just adding some multimedia matte glue to the back of these butterflies and then bending up the um, wings as you can see here just to add a bit of dimension. Now these butterflies from this die set also have an, a secondary die that goes with them that coordinates with them so you could add a backing to them if you liked but I liked to be able to see the pattern through the openings in the wings so totally up to you. Here's a close-up of the finished card so you can see some of the texture on that cardstock and the nice sentiment as well. Moving on to our all over background, so you can see I have Sweet already cut out of, it's a similar cardstock, it's a canvas cardstock, but it's pearlized. So whereas the teal color, the seafoam green color, that did not have a pearlized texture to it, this one does, so it has a little bit of a shimmer. So here I've changed up my color palette just a bit. I'm using Mountain Mist, Sunray again, and then Pink Diamond. So instead of using a purple, I'm using a pink, just to kind of switch things up. And I'm also using three different stamps from the Circle Pattern stamp set. Um, to keep things cohesive, I used the same stamp with the same color. I went ahead and popped up that sentiment on some pink sticky back fun foam, stamped a sub-sentiment, added a little, little butterfly, and then a few pretty pink posh marshmallow confetti embellishments. So I hope that you guys enjoyed these clean and simple spring cards today. It's hard to believe that spring is right around the corner. Be sure to check out cutcardstock.com for any of your cardstock needs. They have great deals in the $1.99 section. I will be back soon with more inspiration. Thanks so much for stopping by. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and do that down below. And as always, a link to all of the supplies are listed below as well.